Fishaholic fam. Well, welcome back to another episode. Today we're here in Bajetos, Brazil at a fishing camp called Portal do Sol. And uh, the last time you saw me, I was probably in Guatatuba, Brazil, and we were trying to catch some rabalo or some snook. And uh, it was tough fishing, but uh, since I've been here in Brazil for almost about two weeks, I wanted to do one last fishing trip before uh, heading back home to the States. Uh, so uh, my girlfriend and I, Karina, uh, drove out from Sao Paulo to Bajetos here, which was about seven hours. I rented this car here, and uh, we're going to get out on uh, one of these boats with uh, Captain Luis, and uh, he's going to take us out for hopefully some really nice uh, tuconarea or uh, peacock bass. And uh, I'm super stoked about that because I've never caught a peacock bass in Brazil. You know, this is my first trip to Brazil, so I'm stoked to see if I can get one. I've only caught peacock bass back in Florida, and these peacocks are a different species of peacock bass. So I'm super excited. That's Captain Luis right over there. So anyway, let's uh, get rigged and ready, and I think we're going to head out onto the uh, Chiete River. And it looks like a really cool... Uh, body of water to fish, so I'm super excited. Let's get after it. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we can catch some fish. Yeah. Alright guys, say hi to Karina. <laughs> uh, we're, we're excited and uh, heading down through this trail to the water and uh, the boat's hooked up to a tractor up front there right off the bow. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start out with this uh, little jerk bait, and it uh, looks like we're working this cove to start. Let's see what we catch. We also have an opportunity to catch some Corvina. Oh, just got a bite. Good. Got a bite. All right, uh, I had one bite on this jerk bait on my first cast, but that was about it. So I'm gonna make a little lure change. I'm gonna try throwing on this Rapala. Oh, there's one. Oh, I lost them. Went away. That was a good fish. On the Rapala. Nice. There's one. Fish on. Oh, it's a piranha. Piranha. I'm on board. Yeah, yeah, I see. We did a mord. You're right. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's my first uh, piranha I've ever caught. Look at those teeth. That's awesome. Pretty cool.
come out right here along the vegetation. It looks super juicy. Making another lure change. I'm gonna try this bigger rapala. Go big or go home. There's a fish. Wow. First cast with the bigger rapala. Oh, another piranha. I. Another one, snagged them. Oh, Karina is hooked up. Fish on. On the jig too. I gave her a little hair jig. It's not too big. No. Might be another piranha. It is. Yeah. Pretty on, Pretty on you. Let's bring him right up here. Oh, this is Sweet. awful. Sweet. <laughs> he went through his nose. On the hair jig. Can I release him? Yeah. Good. Just gotta hold him under the belly, probably. That's how I've been holding him. Yeah. Send him on back. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> All right. We're yeah. both not getting skunked. There's one. That's something better. Tucanare. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no, <laughs> ah, come on, again, <laughs> I snagged another piranha. I thought that was it for sure. All right, time for another lower change. I'm gonna try this guy right here. Supposedly the water's a little bit deeper where we are now, so this bait will get down a little bit closer to the bottom. There's one. Tukanare. Oh yeah. Got one. Beautiful. Alright, so stoked to finally get my first Brazilian peacock or tucanare. And uh, we're going along the grass and all of a sudden we started hearing a lot of them popping in the grass. And I saw this one pop right on the edge and uh, threw my bait right along the edge of the grass and uh, she crushed it. Oh, those colors are so gorgeous. Let's get her back.
All right, we got a delicious lunch prepared for us here. Karina, can you tell us what is on the plate? Because most of it is all Brazilian cooking. Well, I still need to eat to discover this one, but this is manjaquinha. It's kind of a wicca or a wicca, something that you guys have. Okay. Omelete, it's made with eggs, farofa, rice and beans. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little camera shy, but that was very good. Good explanation. Uh, it looks super delicious. It's gonna fill us up, and then uh, I think we're gonna go out uh, with live shrimp for Corvina, and then uh, we'll, we'll do more fishing for Tucanarea and peacock bass uh, tomorrow. And uh, supposedly there's uh, like a bluish colored one. Uh, that's really uh, beautiful and gets bigger and uh, I, I would be stoked to uh, tangle with uh, one of those this trip. made it to our spot here where we're gonna drop down for some Corvina and what I'm doing now is just rigging on some little freshwater shrimp on a double dropper loop rig and I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom and see if we uh, can catch a few Wow, it's really deep. Still going. Alright, just hit the bottom. Oh, there's one. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> what? The Making American fun of me? Already, no, the American already got it. Yeah. Uh, already got it. Pronto. There he is. Hello. Alright, fresh shrimp on the hooks. Let's get back down there. These Corvina can get uh, like about this big, it looks like, from some of the pictures that uh, I saw earlier today. But uh, right now, supposedly, most of them are the smaller size. Uh, and I guess like in the, the summer down here is when they're mostly bigger. But we could get lucky and maybe catch uh, you know, a bigger size one. Fish on! Fish on! Another really little one. I'm dropping down this one for Karina so she can drink some of her coffee. <laughs> Thank you. And look at that. Oh, just lost him. He was there though. As soon as it got to the bottom. There he is. Oh, boy. See? I thought you let the lion is my cat. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that if you want. No. Oh. It's a bigger one. Oh, it won't. All right, well, we're making a slight move, I think a little bit deeper. And uh, one of the other captains is uh, out there and he's catching some slightly bigger ones. So we're gonna try and do the same. Oh, fish on. Oh. 
Corvina. Pretty cool. Oh. All right, let's try and get another. Everybody's catching fish. Most of them are just, you know, from that size to like this. I'm catching more of the smaller sized ones. I'm hoping I can just get one that's like, you know, maybe 15 inches. And after this, we may go for Tucanare again. Hopefully, there might like be a bite of them like right before dark. We could throw like some top water or just throw uh, some crankbaits again. Here's, here's another. Corvina. This one feels a little bit better. There we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks. There he is. Oh, fish on for Karina. This one probably will be the last Corvina. I do it. This one. All right. You can hear him drumming. See? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. All right, well, we got a good mess of fish from the Corvina fishing, but uh, we just made a slight move off the main lake up shallower here in a very similar uh, type uh, area to where we fished earlier today. And uh, I'm gonna start throwing around this little Yozuri uh, spook or top knock, I believe. And uh, hopefully, being that uh, it's probably uh, only like an hour left of daylight, maybe there'll be some fish rising to the surface that uh, will give this a whack. All right, well, pretty cool. Uh, Luis just said he had a big Tucanarea follow his uh, jerk bait right to the boat. All right, no bites on the Yozuri, so I'm gonna try one last lure. Oh, Karina with a nice fish. Crush the Rapala. Just play him nice and easy. Ooh, that's Past the net. Thank you. Oh, Karina with a grange. Might be snagged, so like in a little bit, but it's a nice fish. It's a blue one. It looks like a blue one. Really? Yeah. That would be so nice. You wanted to see it. Oh. Keep, lift your rod tip up. There we go, Karina. Hey, nice fish. There you go. Here's your beautiful peacock bass. There she goes. Sweet. Nice catch. All right, fishaholics. Well, uh, we fished for like another 30 minutes after uh, Karina's beautiful peacock bass. Uh, and I'm actually super stoked that she caught that fish. Uh, so we at least uh, each got one today. And uh, we're uh, getting pulled back through the trail with the tractor. And uh, we're gonna call it for the day. Uh, go grab some dinner. And uh, then we're gonna, you know, take another crack at it tomorrow. So uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this episode and uh, the fishing action of it. Uh, so I'm going to do my outro now, but uh, uh, you know, if dinner looks good, I'm definitely going to give you a close look at uh, how dinner uh, turns out and what uh, uh, they've prepped for us uh, for tonight. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live. All right. Just uh, waiting for the main course to hit the table. We're both starving, and uh, we're joined by our buddy Thor here. Thor? Come here, Thor. Thor. Oh, Thor loves a little snack. Sweet Thor. And uh, 
They're serving us, uh, what kind of fish did you say? Porquino. Porquino, which uh, is actually like trigger fish, which is excellent to eat. So I'm super stoked about that. And uh, we actually had it last night too, and Karina uh, requested it again for tonight. And I'll give you a closer look once it uh, comes out of the kitchen. <sighs> Another bug that goes into the rice. Cool. Ooh, so check this out. The main course. This fish looks delicious. Yes. Give Karina some as well. Ooh. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> 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 it's so good, right? <laughs> they keep it coming, right? I can eat. And uh, check this out, guys. Look at that. Right. Some uh, type of fish sauce on top of linguine. <laughs> grab a bunch of this and just toss it on the plate. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go. Let me let me try to do my in a fancy way. Okay. I, th I think you'll do a little bit better than me. Sorry, let me let me try it. And we're gonna drop some beans. With the rice and fish. All right, bon appetit. Look at that. Mm. It's a mess. It wasn't a beautiful bite, but it's extremely good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow or the next video. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.